Hey guys, in this video we're going to talk about the trailers that we take on hurricanes and the refrigeration systems that are in them to make sure that we get the redundancy that we need in case we lose a generator or an inverter or something on each trailer and how we make it so that we have all the fresh food and refrigeration we need for our deployments. When we deploy, we have three trailers that end up having our food stores in them. One of them is in sleeping trailer two. We have a full-size refrigerator with a freezer. This trailer has a generator that is about 12,500K generator. It's a little diesel Onan and it's under the back of this 53 foot refrigerated trailer that we've converted in to a sleeping trailer and an office trailer. We have an inverter that does 2000 watts and all that inverter does is runs this refrigerator. There's two Battleborn batteries. If we were driving in the theater, this inverter system and this refrigerator, 3400 watts, 50% duty cycle with the 200 amp hour batteries that we have, we get about 48 hours of runtime. If we were to lose the generator the minute we left, we wouldn't lose our freezer, we wouldn't lose our refrigerator, and we wouldn't lose all the food that's in this trailer because we have 48 hours. So this is the original sleeping trailer, and right here we have our inverter. This one's a little different than the one we have in the sleeping trailer too. So we've got a, a 2000 watt inverter by Victron, and then we have increased our battery bank, so we have 600 amp hours of storage here. A lot of server, a lot of sands, a lot of equipment with a great power draw, 750 to 1000 watts, so we need a lot of backup power. And in this trailer, we also have a full-size refrigerator and a deep freeze. So our power requirements on this one are up to nearly 12 to 14 hours. And there's a big 80 kVA, 60 kW generator in the back of this trailer. We've never had a problem in the 14 years of deployment until this last deployment. And so well, then we upgrade our battery size. It's important that we have redundant systems. So in case we lose the generator, we've got the Victron system with the Battleborn batteries to give us 10 to 12, 14 hours of actual confirmed runtime so that the minute we leave, we would still make it if we lost power on these two trailers. Sitting right here beside me in the warehouse, we've got an indoor walk-in cooler. And this would be kind of like if you ever go to a convenience store and they have those wall of glass doors where your drinks are in there. And if you've ever looked all the way through, it's like a room behind it. That room is cooled by a refrigeration system very similar to this one. This is the outside unit and this is the inside unit. And we're gonna show you how now we're gonna add redundancy to our refrigerated trailer that we now take in the theater. And we're gonna talk a little bit about that. This is the area of the trailer that you're gonna see Paul install the air exchanger for our walk-in cooler refrigeration. So there's gonna be a grill he'll put there and then it'll pick up the fresh air from under the bottom so it'll be able to exchange the heat right here. This is our refrigerated trailer and it has this outside unit that is a, a diesel motor that turns the compressor. And this is how, if you get vegetables or food or produce or meat, this is how it's normally done. Currently, when we get in theater, we just leave this outside unit running, which is kind of normal, but it's a little bit loud because it is a diesel engine that's running. And so now we're going to go inside and talk about how we're going to add some redundancy to this process. We've done a little bit of a video about this in the past, but this entire 53 foot van trailer is refrigerated and we use it just to keep the front section cold. So in the past, it had these dividers in three zones and that didn't really work well for us. So we came in and we've installed this permanent doorway and insulated this really well. So that now when we go into our hurricanes, we set this front area to 34 degrees. We are able to put all of our ice in these coolers. All of our drinks in cases of water and Powerade and sodas and all that are included in here. Then Stan has this area that he can also put refrigerated items in it saves the space on those other refrigerators. But as we were thinking about it, if we lose the reefer unit on the front, we needed a way to do it to have some redundancy. So now we're gonna put that cooler system in this part of the trailer that allows us that when we're in the warehouse, like we are now staged, ready to go, or all the rest of the time, we'll have a way that we can run the cooler for this front room, kind of like in the convenience store, where we can keep this at a comfortable temperature for the drinks and the ice and everything that we're taking. And then once we get in theater, we can park this alongside where Stan is prepping his stuff and he'll just have to walk through the back door and he can walk up here and come into his refrigerator area and be able to get to all of his refrigerated goods that he needs to help him prepare and cook for us. So it gives us a way that while we're in theater, we now have redundancy for this system. We have a diesel based system with the refrigerated and now we have electric based system refrigerated that we can run off the generators that we have in camp 
or while we're staged in our warehouses getting ready to go. And it'll also be nice because now you'll notice that it's empty. We would got ready and prepped to leave for Adalia and we had all the food in here. Well, our warehouses are not environmentally controlled all the time. We can air condition them, but being 35,000 square feet, it costs a pretty penny to air condition all that space all during the summer. We don't typically leave it. So then we'll be able to set this room down to like 55 degrees and our Powerade and our drinks and our water and all of our sodas, we could leave in here so that once we got all that stuff bought up, we don't have to take it in and out. So right now we keep it in the conditioned part of the warehouse at 65 or 70 degrees so that all that lasts through the entire hurricane season. So that's kind of one of the upgrades that you're gonna see us do as we finish it up, we'll show you how it comes together.